Hello, this is Effie Zeldord12345, and welcome back, so let's play Legend of Dragoon. Well, at long last, it's time to head through the light that Lavitz created for us. Hopefully we'll make it to the Signet Spear this time. We did. How nice of Zeke to just wait for us to travel up this light, while we just kind of left to take on Faust. Yep, this is the last chance you have to do anything else in the world map that you want to do, but I'm done, so let's go. Admittedly, I do want to do the town exploration again, but... Honestly, I just haven't been in the right mood to do it. I'm not exactly sure why, but just haven't felt like it. I do have a, a separate save file, so I will do it eventually, just not now. So sorry for anyone who was looking forward to that. And now we're up here. And, yeah, no way to get back down. And a chest with an item that I don't care about. What else is new? Okay, there's a sphere. Okay. Now what? Eh, that's no problem. Okay then. Come on, we know you're there. Then what are you doing right now? There we go. You're about to destroy the world, how is that peaceful? Whoa. What, is he scared of his own Dragoon spirit? Well, technically Z did have the, the Red-Eyed Dragoon spirit before Dart. And if you're wondering why I'm not shocked by the Singed Sphere being destroyed... We all saw that coming. Come on, don't lie. We knew that was gonna happen. Yeah? So, what's the plan? Oh! Okay. Let's go with Dart's theme in tow! And I'm pretty sure this is the last time we ever hear it in the game. Oh well. Oh, hey Coolon. What, did those clouds of death just... I mean, Clouds of Spirits just vanish? I guess so. Alright. Let's go. Now, remember who was on Kulon's wings? It was Dart, Rose, and Albert. And now, let's watch the movie.
That's it. If you thought those screams were unconvincing, we still haven't heard the worst of it yet. Oh, just you wait. And yeah, Kulan's dead. turns out that they can fly. I don't know why they never did any of that when we fought them. And it seemed like they were all normal virages. Maybe it's some new breed or something? I don't know. what? Everything that just happened here? Okay, and here we are on the Divine Tree itself. Yeah, kind of interesting that this is a dungeon. Although, this is more of the penultimate dungeon. It's kind of short. Okay, now I want to keep my eyes out. Oh, there it is. Yep, there was a sparkle there, and it contained a phoenix plume. Nothing I care about too much, but it's something. I know I already have one, but oh well. And for this sparkle... Huh. Seems like it. Indeed. Okay, let's keep on going. Alright, let's see what enemies the Divine Tree has for us. For the most part, these guys really aren't too interesting. Here we have Manticores. They're just kind of there. Yeah, at this point, I really stopped caring about what kind of enemies we were fighting. Okay. Well, they can inflict sadness like that. That's not good. Well, not enough to kill them, but oh well. And I'll have Rose continue to attack. I was thinking of using a Mind Purifier that turn, but... Well, Rose is still kind of low on addition experience, and I need to make that up somehow. 
I'll just have Hashtro use the Mind Purifier. Okay, I did buy Mind Purifiers, right? I have Body Purifiers, but that's not what I need. Uh, crap. And I didn't even pull that off successfully. This is gonna be rough. As if Rose's low attack power wasn't it bringing her down enough. Eh, I'll live. Anyway, something that I actually really should bring up right now. As for my equipment... Oh, she had fear, not sadness. Never mind. As you can see, I actually went back and bought Legend Cascades along with an Armor of Legend for Dart, which is the physical equivalent of the Legend Cascade. And as you can see, their physical and magic defense is pretty ridiculous. You're probably wondering why I bought it now instead of during the fight with Faust. Well, that's mainly because, at this point, I really don't feel like there's much challenge left in the game. So I just thought to just go all out. Fish, huh? Hmm. So, can we kill it while it's in its fruit? Never thought about that. Okay, there is one other enemy that I'm interested in seeing. Hopefully we'll come across it. I think that's in the back. And it gets a first strike. Yup, a cute cat. These mountain apes here are a lot tougher, but... What makes a cute cat interesting is its item drop. This th Gotta focus. And go instant death. Although I actually would prefer that not happening so that I would gain more addition experience. Eh, I'll save uh, what the cute cat can drop for now. Just to see if I get it. It's only a 2% chance, but I still want to see if it happens. I was about to say thank you for not countering, and then you had to counter. Rude. Man, Hastral's been having it easy. I barely need to... I barely got any counterattacks with him, and I didn't get the drop. Oh well. The Q Cat drops Dancer's Shoes. Which... Yeah, is a pretty good drop. It's not really that great to me, because... I'm not really going to have a two females in the party again. My team for the rest of the game is going to be Dart, Rose, and Hastral. Can we ride it? Alright. Now, if you do want those dancer's shoes, you don't run into any more cute cats once you ride this stream. Just a warning. But I don't care all that much. I will say that I did flip out when I won a pair myself in my last playthrough. It was pretty shocking, even though I never really used it. Indeed. It's making us do endless somersaults. There you are, Congo. I was about to say, where were you?
How are you landing on your feet like that? Oh, good. Hashel is actually getting a bit low on HP, so thank you. There you are. And nice job, Hashel. What is that in the corner? Yeah, that. Well, hopefully that doesn't mean anything bad. I mean, it's just a bug. What can bugs do? And that's Sparkle! Yup, that's uh, Miranda's Dragoon Armor. It would've really helped if we got this before coming here, so that way the fight with Faust would be easier, but... Oh well. Wait. Holy crap, that was a huge boost! Why couldn't we get this earlier? Ah, uh, oh well. And wait. Oh, never mind. I was looking at Rose HP and thought, wait, shouldn't I have given her the Dragon Helm? But, nah, she'll be fine. Here's some healing water that... Eh, we don't really need. I mean, we just got healed up. But it's there if you want to use it. I don't get what the point of that shot was. And I... Yeah, let's see what's here. We know. Okay, not really much to that conversation. Then again, there's not really much you can say about this. The world is being destroyed, we gotta save it. And all the races are gonna be destroyed. Uh, yeah, I'll save. What I think I'll do for a little bit is, since Dart is pretty close to maxing out and Blazing Dynamo, yeah, he's fairly close. He'll max it out during a certain boss fight. I'm mainly going to have a Dart use the speed up on Rose, so that way she'll be able to catch up. Normally she's not this behind, but I've been screwing up Demon's Dance quite a bit. Astral is doing pretty well with Hexhammer. I'm not concerned that much. Okay, that's taken care of. And... damn it. One thing I can say about Mansicores is it doesn't seem like they counterattack. So that's good for working on Hexhammer. Maybe that's another way I could make the enemies more interesting. Distinguish which ones do and don't attack. Well, counterattack, I mean. Oh. Hi there. You gonna help us get to the top? Unhatched? How do you know? Well, it's hostile, so let's kill it. This boss... isn't really that interesting. At least it doesn't really do much that's of harm to us. What I can say though, is at this point, don't bother transforming. Right now, he doesn't really do anything too bad. But later on, that'll change. Even then, I think I'll be fine. Especially with Dart doing over a thousand damage. Well, he can inflict some status ailments. 
But even then, I'm not really that worried. Really, at this point in the game, I feel like I can show off what not to do in order to avoid counterattacks. But yeah, as far as bosses go, I feel like I've shown off everything I can in terms of how to deal with them. At this point, it's really a matter of just killing them before they kill us. I was too focused on what I was going to say next. I'll use a speed up on Rose for now, just to make up for that. But anyway, some of the earlier bosses were kind of interesting to come up with certain strategies. That's not really much of the case here in the final area. Made the same mistake again. Well, at least she dodged it. Somehow. Aha! I pressed circle too late. Well. We're getting something of a challenge. Not what I had in mind, though. Okay, is... No, that's not it. I should heal Rose. Wow. Right when I'm talking about the boss is not really giving much of a challenge anymore, here I am needing to heal. And I have Legend Cast K's on them. Okay, I reacted to that one well. Does the Caterpillar have magic attacks? I don't think so. Okay, that should be enough. Yep, it is. And now it goes into its larvae form. Or pupa, whatever. And not really much changes in terms of strategy, just wail on him. I'm not sure if he has too many interesting attacks, but we'll see as they go along. Uh, you gonna do anything? I guess not. Okay, according to my bestiary, he doesn't have any attacks in this form. I guess I can understand it because it, it's not a an attacking form for a caterpillar. But still. Kind of pathetic. And here is its final form, Imago. And here is where we're going to get into debuff territory. I'm not completely certain if I want to transform. I do have the proper setup, so that way if I do decide, I can, but... Hmm... I'll keep the power up on Dart since he's going to deal the most damage per hit. And, oh. Imago has an instant death attack! I did not know that. But if that's the case, then Imago probably won't live long enough for us to see it. And that's not going to be the case during this LP. Hmm. 
Now I'm really debating on whether I should transform or not. On one hand, I can avoid counter-attacks and deal more long-term damage faster. But on the other hand, Rose's experience... Eh, screw it. I'm transforming. I didn't equip the Magical Ring on Dart because I didn't think it was necessary, but Final Bird should still do decent damage. Eh, I'll take it. Actually, I don't think Blazing Dynamo's damage would be that far off. I can see it doing around 2500. Well, let's have Hashel do another Kamehameha. Hmm, not bad. And Rose... You know what? This isn't going to work, but I'm showing off Demon's Gate. As you can kind of tell from the description, inflicts instant death on all enemies, but doesn't work on bosses. Even though this'll fail... Let's just watch it. Whoa. Uh, no comment. I guess that was supposed to suck them in. I guess so. Alright, now that's out of the way, and Hashel should revert back to normal. I'm pretty certain that at this point, Hashel's Hex Hammer is actually going to be stronger than his Dragoon attack. But we won't know quite yet. Okay, is it gonna... Yep, it's doing something. I was about to say we might be too fast, but nope. Okay, that was supposed to inflict a D-Spirit on us, but... Well, we're in Dragoon form, so we're immune to status ailments. Hmm. Rose really needs to work on her attack power. It will become stronger. Trust me, I'm not using Rose to just for baggage. She will become much stronger by the time we get to the end game. Heck, Demon's Dance Damage Multiplier is actually higher than Hashtol's Master Edition, so that's saying something. Nice drops. I could actually use a Sun Rhapsody. It doesn't feel right using a Moon Serenade when only one character needs an MP restoration. What do you mean we barely defeated it? This is just as bad as Wendigo. Okay, maybe not that bad, but still. Anyway, we're pretty much done, and I think this is a good time to end things off. Next time on Legend of Dragoon, we're gonna head to the end of the Divine Tree, and maybe there we'll stop Zeke? I know I've been saying that for a while, but it's not like we're gonna let him win, right? Right? Well, see you next time.